a Muntan. What the f Hello again, everybody. This is Sebastian, and this is going to be another Forerunner News episode. So, um, well, it, it, we're 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 to this now. We're we're down to this. Uh, let me just explain the frustration uh, that I have right now, currently, uh, with this recent update note that we were uh, just given, and that we have to now prepare for in the next couple of days. So. Last week, I specifically asked Muntan, uh, especially the contacts that we've been given in case we have questions, as to whether the gauntlet was going to be actually happening. All right. Not only that, but they already have said we're going to start season six. One of the things that I was concerned with, that if even if they started the gauntlet, that they were going to do it with the start of season six. So not only did you have to prepare for a new map, but now on top of it, you're going to now stress the players out and you're going to have to tell them in addition to that, especially if you're in the top 32 guilds in the forerunners here and in global right now is marked as the, the top 256. And, and I'll explain to you why that will matter that you are going to have to run this at the same time that you're running season six that you're starting season six i'm gonna go over the patch notes but i just want you to to, to the 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 whole emphasis here is that questions were asked and the answers were vague even if you didn't want me to mention that you were going to release this at least you could have told me hold on it is coming. We will release news on this later. Instead of us thinking that this probably wasn't going to happen because we already knew that season six was launching. So here is the thing. After last week's fiasco, you now have asked me to be more transparent with you regarding any issues in the game. So in turn, when I ask you questions about something that is game related give me a more straight answer than no we can't tell you anything or please contact these other people this is a situation here where the left hand did not know what the right hand was doing and when we asked questions about it it was so vague that some person decided to sit on this notes and release it one week after they had said the season six was starting so I am sorry if you tuned in. Yes, it turned into a little mini rant, but this week has, in terms of communication, the company is not doing a great job. And this is frustrating because now we have to prepare for this in addition to start preparing for season six. And then given the schedule kit here, both of them are happening at the same time. The gauntlet is especially going to be a single uh single elimination round so we have 32 teams so then of course it'll go down to 16 8 4 2 right so within within one of those then if you keep progressing that's how many matches you have to look forward to right so 32 16 8 4 2 the most that you're going to have are five matches here is the thing uh l and if you lose in the semifinal, you still have to go to the third place match because there are going to be rewards associated with that. So here's the thing with it. Based on the timing that they have released here, our season now starts on that Tuesday. We have to start garrison Monday, Tuesday, right? So then during this, this period that they're going to launch this, which is now scheduled for Saturday, 11-1. So we're going to have to go bam, round, round 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 based on how far we get to and then boom season six, six starts everybody takes this one week off essentially just relax nothing when it comes to guild wars it is a player's blessing right you don't want to get too burned out on this and so that one week it was just like okay we just throw a couple of teams start testing we kind of get an idea as to what the AI of the Demon Silders are doing. But now this has changed completely. 
because now we're up again in full battle mode we gotta get our defenses ready and we have to familiarize with us with a new map because unfortunately we're not playing with the season five map when it comes to the gauntlet they have said here no you're playing with the one that we just released so as soon as you get the new map that's the one that we're going to go into the gauntlet with according to the patch notes here the other thing here that they have emphasized is that this now is going to your garrison is going to have lower hp you're not and you're only going to be able to attack each enemy you want so you can double up on an attack okay not only that they're they're uh the uh when it comes to the rewards we won't get the traditional rewards that we anticipate no it all depends on whether you win and lose in the round so apparently each round has its corresponding rewards if you lose in that round then you get a set of rewards if you win you just move on and you just wait for the next set of rewards that's essentially what it's giving here because at the end you probably won on one of the top ones okay so the reason that i'm emphasizing that the gauntlet here is going to be a little bit troubling is because they're going to take one of the maps from the new season and they're going to make you it looks like to only deploy one defense that's it that's why they mean by your garrison is going to have low hp you're only going to have one defense why is that important because if i go down here to the to the to the other section of the patch notes they said that they added a new option enable guild member face off the original enable friendly face off option no longer includes guild members okay so that's one but then the other one that i saw here is that now the friendly face off will include a guild war gladiator gauntlet so what does that tell you is that we have our friendly face off for our normal garrisons and then we'll have a face off for this gladiator uh, the gladiator gauntlet so now we're going to have two interfaces to worry about this week. We're going to have to worry about our defenses now that we're setting for season six and testing those out. And now at the same time, we have a whole new plan to do with the Gladiator uh, Gauntlet because we only have that one defense. So we have to make it the best as possible. They just kind of threw this out and they said, OK, forerunners, you forerun this. And I can tell you right now that from everything that I'm seeing, it's just it's going to be stressful enough as it is there's really no week off to to really relax from this and as soon as this is done boom season six right on top of it if you do this in global you're gonna catch a lot of flack i'm telling you right now Mountain, you're gonna catch a lot of flack if you decide to launch it like this because people get a little bit burned out with this the constant rotation of the map even though we ask for it, because we want some variety to it the constant rotations of the map especially how you're doing it right now does lead to a little bit of uh kind of a stress a burnout because you just have to re figure everything out you have to familiarize yourselves how the demon soldiers are interacting how your heroes are interacting it just for those two three weeks it just is a, is a continuous uh it's a continuous grind right because you're building it all up again and now you have to set yourself up and what this is going to do for the future is then you're setting yourself up and then you're grinding for the gauntlet then the gauntlet happens at the same time you have to get ready for the next set and it just continues to go on. so the one week off that you offer players to kind of take a break from this you completely have taken it away i see this as a negative this is not a well thought out launch it's not well thought out as to how well this was designed in concurrence with the current guild wars so i'm telling you right now you're gonna catch flag if you do this in global you sure we'll forerun this we'll give you our opinion as to how it goes but i i can already tell you that the perception of this is not a positive one all right and listen i'm supposed to just bring you the forerunner news or the the patch notes what is that is coming to global at some point whether they can back uh no backdoor this update or they can finally uh, update the app in the apple store 
But when it comes to this here, number one, I'm annoyed at the lack of communication, especially after I've been asked to be more transparent with them. And then number two, that they're throwing this on top of it to new content that they already threw at us last week. That's it. All right. So, but this is something if you're watching this and you kind of, and you're on global and you're seeing how this is now they designed this to play out, especially after we finish season five in global. And then on top of it, it's like, now you should know you're not going to get a week off because they're going to throw this right at you. It's going to be right on top of you. Let me know in the comment section. Do you care? Do you want the week off? Do you hope to sometimes get a little bit of a break from Guild Wars? You let me know. At least from the players that we have here in the Forerunners, we welcome the week off. It's just it's just nice. Just not to have to worry about Guild Wars after an eight a week um grind. That's it. So you let me know. Do you care? Don't you? And then we'll we'll go on from it. So but I'm hoping that they don't release it like this in global. I'm telling you right now. I hope that they don't. Let's talk about gear. So they're saying they're going to optimize the gear forge interface. So I think it's just uh, that they're trying to make sure that the exclusive gear just pops up a little bit more uh, and um, they're going to add the hero avatar to it. That's fine. At least we'll be able to preview this a little bit better. And then uh, when you're changing gear, so in the gear interface, you go to the plan and you start switching pieces around. You no longer have to place one on top of the other. Right, because if you click remove, it just removes the whole thing. So apparently, as soon as you click the gear, it just tells you how um, in the single piece how how it'll change uh, the the stats of the of the hero, which is a little bit better than having to put it on and then if you don't like it, you remove it and it just takes the previous piece with it. So at least they fixed that. The other thing when it comes to the fortune of the Titan, the Wisdom Meteorites, they finally decided to. Uh, increase the odds of this it'd be two percent to four percent please keep in mind four percent is nice yes but i have a feeling and this is just from the fortune that i've done and from everything that i've seen people posting on our clusters discord not every exclusive has the same rates it's probably just the same as the heroes Hexus is going to be very, very rare. Silas is going to be very, very rare, but you're going to get a lot of Cratches and you're going to probably get a lot of Celeses and Valorias because that's probably how they program this. So yes, 4% just to make you feel, feel a little better that you're getting more uh, exclusives, but it probably most likely won't be the heroes that you're expecting to get. I already mentioned the friendlies, how they're changing that. So now we'll also have, uh, so we'll have the ability to just enable fr friendlies for our members and not for everybody in our friends list. And then the fact that they're adding the, the gladiator gauntlet only one. Uh, when it comes to AMR 19 through 22, finally, they kind of fixed this. So they even went to global with it without even fixing it. But 1921 you're gonna get a preset that is of the teams that you use to complete those stages 20 and 22 are now gonna have their own separate ones great Q qol they should have done this at the beginning to be honest they're gonna add a new daily quest clear the faction trial or any difficulty level one time if you're leveling your pantheon you got you gotta do it anyway it takes a while to get to the full 320 and my understanding is that they are looking forward to expanding this in the future the background fight progress page now displays the current battle uh, battle speed all right uh they're going to be class decks in hero details so they optimize that uh something about telegram for the russians that's fine um that's how news gets uh, spread out really quick for them and they're going to change the lighting effect for the five star psychic power on the uh on the drop chest uh from golden to purple whoa 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 wait 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 so one they uh here in the in-game announcement they did not add something that was specifically released on discord so the uh they're going to change the kits uh here of uh of valkyra 
Um, so my initial read of this is that actually it improves her a little bit. I actually do like it. She's not the hero that needed a buff, right? I mean, there are other ones that we've been waiting on you to 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 work on here. But uh, let me let me go over really quick as to what the changes are going to be to Valkyra. Uh, her basic attack. So let's look at that. So it says uh, deals uh, AOE damage to multiple enemies in range and inflicts the magic damage vulnerability on them. Okay. So they're going to change the now to just dealing AOE damage to multiple enemies in range. So they took the debuff out of here. But what they did is that they made out a talent. So you see that where it says talent not available, they're going to add that. It says it inflicts 15% vulnerability, magic damage vulnerability on enemies entering the attack range so she has a very long attack range you can extend that with her a1 so as soon as they enter they get inflicted with them the uh vulnerability and when an enemy dies in range it increases Valkyra's damage by 15 percent for five seconds this will actually help those of you that uh, are trying to use her for the top of gear dungeon one because as soon as the psycho fans get in they get vulnerability as soon as she takes one out bam increases her damage for five seconds and then if any any other psycho fan then dies within that little attack range boom you're gonna get an increase in attack even arena she's gonna become nastier now because of that so this is actually a good change the fact that they're doing this so don't 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 think that removing the debuff from here is actually is going to be uh a, a nerf for her she this is actually a little bit boost to, to to her damage as well uh when it comes to her awakening though i'm gonna go to awakening five because here it says that the ally revived by the miracle gains uh 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 divine blessing of damage increase all right so it's about 100 percent for 10 seconds so that's the ally that gets it so they decided they were, they were going to change this so now when an ally is revived by miracle both the ally and valkyra will gain a divine blessing so both of them are getting the uh the damage increase so increasing their damage by a hundred percent for 10 seconds so now even valkyra will if she revives somebody will get additional damage on top of that so they're just they're boosting her damage a little bit because of this this will make things a lot uh she 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 already was playable as she was now this makes her even more desirable to to use her so definitely this is going to help in uh, many stages in many areas uh Players that are advanced and progressing in the early mid game, I would bring her to GR1, uh, giving her increase in damage here, uh, applying magic vulnerability, you're boosting your mages even more, perfect. And then if she revives, now she's also gaining uh, damage on top of that. So a, a positive for this hero positive for this hero she actually will do uh, a little bit more damage and then if you have her artifact you get that shield boom even more damage so i think i think that this it's a good change but um there come on there are other heroes that need it as well so let's work on those before uh we start working on the arborers the arborers are already powerful enough as they are <laughs> all right folks that'll do it for forerunner news Please do remember to hit like and subscribe on your way out and I will see you all in the next Watch Our Rounds video.